getting from Zlearn. That company has said that it, it's proposed and already announced merger of Treehouse into itself has been temporarily put on hold and they have reconstituted an evaluation panel to look, relook at the original share swap that they announced. Our resident expert on media stocks, Mangalam Malu, is joining us. Uh, Mangalam, uh, take us through all this uh, pretty confusing and even disappointing for a treehouse investor. Indeed, Lata. In fact, uh, it is not really disappointing for a treehouse investor because the earlier swap ratio did uh, was uh, uh, of, of not of benefit to the treehouse investor because remember the stock had corrected about 50 percent. But it is good news for a Z Learn investor. Tell you what, because earlier when the deal was announced, the pr parity or the price of both the stocks was such that uh, it would give treehouse uh, a 10 percent premium on the current market price. But since then, the stock prices of both uh, the companies have corrected. To to an extent where Zlearn, if this merger ratio was to go by, the inherent value of Zlearn would be uh, just about 12 and a half rupees, which, which is currently 29 rupees on the exchanges. So that would have uh, been a bit of a problem for the Zlearn investors itself. And there was this huge arbitrage which we had been pointing out throughout as well. So uh, that as well as the fact that the fourth quarter results for Treehouse were completely uh, 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 turned around to the bottom line for the worst. They posted a net loss of 30 crores worth is a profit last year, while Zlearn posted a good set of numbers, the, the, uh, the uh, EBITDA margins did increase, so that was a, a, a bit divergent as well. So it's only understandable that Zlearn has decided not to go ahead with the merger. We'll have to wait by for more details to come in, but tomorrow expect Treehouse to open in the red, while Zlearn will see a bit of a relief rally. Right, absolutely, Manglam. Even uh, just the day before, when Z initiated or uh, sort of told the exchanges that it could look at re-evaluating the merger based on the numbers, even then, if I remember correctly, the stock had fallen almost 16-17%. So let's see what sort of a reaction we get tomorrow. But many thanks for that.